Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Hope you're doing well. Um, I just wanted to share an idea that I had for practicing. Uh, you could do it for any length of time, but I find that you know five to ten minutes is a great little chunk of time to do this. And there's many ways to do it, but the two ways that I usually do it are well. I'm going to show you like three or four ways basically, but the two ways or I'll record a guitar, like a backing track, like a rhythm track. Um, usually it'll be either like a swing jazz or a rumba flamenca kind of thing. Or I'll do, I'll play drums and then practice piano playing this thing from Jesus Molina where he plays like an ostinato, like repeating bass line in the left hand and souls over it in one key or two keys, etc., etc. Um, I'll link it to his video where he talks about that too. Um, but anyways, I like doing this. And then when you record the first track, when you play back and you play along, you can learn a lot from the rhythm track, what worked and what didn't work, if it was in good time, it felt good, what maybe you thought worked well, but didn't um, and vice versa. And for this, I'll be recording it slightly differently so you can hear the parts and stuff. But usually I have like a, a phone with a rhythm thing or like a metronome basically usually and I'll have some headphones so the click track isn't so loud in the, re the recording and if you know then I'll just have like a voice memo type thing um, to record with and that's how I'll play it back and then you can save them and you can listen to them later too. Uh, or you could do multi-tracking too if you have that, but I, I usually don't because I don't have that app on my phone. And I usually, though I do have like logic and stuff, I, I just choose not to because it's just one, one more layer as opposed to just practicing. So here's a demo of the first thing. That's one thing. Another one would be for like a rumba flamenca type thing. Um, let's see, I usually do it about, let's see. So yeah. Um, and the opposite I'll show you about after this is recording the solo first and then playing the rhythm track over that to kind of see how it works with the rhythm, but then also hearing if you can if you're playing the chord changes correctly, etc. But here's a rhythm, here's a rumba type thing. One. something there. Alright, so I'm going to record that uh, the soloing first. 
and then doing the chord accompaniment. Play it, put this a little louder so I can hear it on the, next, the second track. This is a little different, like I said, than I usually do it, so the clicks and stuff are louder and softer. Two. A one, two, three, four. recorded the first time I couldn't hear the click but I also was my soloing wasn't in time basically I was kind of leaning on the click as opposed to showing the click basically so I had to record at least to have a decent tape um, okay I'm gonna do the other thing the Jesus Molina thing on guitar but also show it on sort of what I'm doing it on piano uh, the piano version obviously there's stuff to work on um, I usually just use a click but this, in this case, just to sort of demo it, make it a little more interesting, I use congas, and obviously there's some stuff I can do better, but it's where I'm at right now, so. Um, let's see, I think it's usually a little faster. So I'm just gonna record like the bass part. One, two, one, two, three. That's about it. I hope this helps. Uh, best wishes, everyone. Take care. And if you have any ideas, comments, suggestions, uh, things like that, please let me know. Questions. Um, I'd love to help out if I could. And uh, and if you have any ideas, I'd love to learn from everyone too. So, um, but yeah, this is just kind of like well, it's more than one take, but really one take because uh, due to technical difficulties, I guess basically one take type of thing. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of a learning experience, and it's definitely fun to do. Um, it's fun to, I, would, I like doing this with the, the guitar part, but I like playing drums, and then playing piano on top of that. I mean, they're not, either one is not really my main instrument, but it's a lot of fun. Um, so we're getting into the multi-instrumental thing, to some extent. Um, I've definitely learned a lot from it. But in any case, doing this backing track type thing on a sort of like, you know, a voice memo type thing, I think is really helpful and fun to do, and it's a quick good way to get some practice in here, um, like five, ten minutes, and actually, at least for me, accomplish something, I keep my chops up, or try to or learn something new, um, that's about it really offhand that I can think of, so thanks a lot, take care.
Thank you.